in this tale, my grandfather teaches me how to pronounce aqua. For clothes, aqua. For eggs, aqua. And for crying, aqua. And agu, for the leopard, agu. And for starvation, agu. My tongue is pliable enough to accept the subtle differences, the way a death one too many separates insurgency from a war. Speaking of death, in this tale, my grandfather is alive from my father's side and my mother's side. How can the dead speak to the living? What great gulf they would have to cross. But neither seemed eager to meet me for they departed before my birth. The Western man would scoff at this, but my mother has seen her father and conversed with him long after the earth opened her mouth and welcomed him home. I might seem to you conventional, but I believe my grandfather both can teach me how to pronounce his favorite heteronyms. In this tale, my ability to believe in the discarnate is a testament of my blackness.